Well, I think um, you know we've we've been doing this a little while now, and I and I think it was when Mike and I when Mike and I and our owners talked right at the start of our journey in MLS. One of the things that we said was, you know, we would build the roster gradually and th gradually and thoughtfully, and um, and Ake was somebody that even way back then, almost just you know, as we were getting going came on the radar and unfortunately at that time we couldn't make that happen and I think it's a great testament to Mike and his team and everyone involved that you know we stuck at it we kept our powder dry to some degree and here we are today with him sat between us and I, and I think that says a lot about you know being thoughtful and you know taking your chances at the right time rather than diving in when things don't work and um, we all feel very excited about having him here. seems like a, it wasn't that long ago we were sitting in a restaurant in Quetro. We, we watched Ake play, and when the match was over, we visited together. And it was interesting that that first match where Chance Myers, our chief scout, has done a great job, him and his staff, about vetting candidates. And, you know, we went to watch Ake play live, and in our sport, it's not uncommon that players get rotated, and uh, the match he went to, Ake didn't start. You know, so we thought to ourselves, we flew all the way here, and the guy's not going to play. You know, uh, the team's down at the half. Uh, he comes on at halftime and uh, scored two goals in the second half and absolutely put the game, you know, uh, he turned it on its head. Uh, as we were watching, we saw the things that he did uh, on the ball, uh, his uh, clinical finishing, uh, off the ball, his ability to run past players, and just felt he was like the ideal type player, not only for our league, but for Gary's system. Uh, after visiting and spending time with him, just kind of felt he was the right kind of person and character to be a, you know, a foundational piece for our club. Primero, elegí Nashville porque la directiva eh, me mostró su arma y me mostró que me querían de verdad. Porque hoy hace como dos años que me, me buscaron y cuando se tuvo que se presentó la oportunidad, ya no dudó de, de, de venir aquí, lo aproveché y aquí estoy. Ake's ability to not only play as a nine, but we talk a lot about, and all the players are looking for, being versatile and flexible, being able to play a variety of different roles, but also in different systems. Uh, where he's most comfortable playing maybe on the back shoulder or center backs, trying to get in behind. He's got tremendous pace, you know, to be able to threaten defenses. He can also play in front of a center back, you know, as a traditional target. He can play off a center forward, you know, like in, in a pair. Uh, you know, he can play by himself as a lone nine. Uh, he can play on the left, come inside on his right foot. And, you know, so I think he has that flexibility and versatility that we look for in players. But also, I think as you've seen, even, you know, in our creative and dynamic attacking players like Randall, like Hani, we want guys who work on both sides of the ball. And, you know, you only have to see the, the game in CCL when, you know, when he scored against Columbus. You know, that all started with his ability to press the ball, when it back, and to create transitional actions. I just think, uh, you know, the way he plays really fits for what Gary looks for in players all over the field, specifically for attacking players.
what was interesting about the pursuit the first time around was we actually lost out. You know, we made a bid and Monterey actually outbid us. You know, so it's not necessarily a situation where you pick and choose you want to do, it's to the highest bidder. And, you know, the, the fact that you know, maybe we lost out in a primary target where we looked at, at other alternatives, it was one of those things where we kind of always had hoped that it'd come around again. And uh, when Minnesota had signed Reynoso, there was an article talking about their year and a half pursuit, you know, of him. And I'm returning a chance and saying it'd be amazing to think, you know, that we're talking about a story like that for Ake. You know, maybe like you know, the story hadn't been written yet for us. And the fact that, uh, you know, I, I had connected with uh, Dulio Divino, the sporting director at Monterey, made sure he knew of our interest in Ake. And, you know, it, it was almost kind of like, okay, at any point, if you think that maybe moving on or potentially selling him, we would love to talk to you and explore that. And I think that opportunity came around a second time. You know, really, uh, I, I have to give a lot of credit to, to both Ian and uh, to our ownership with John Ingram of having the, the confidence and faith in us identifying the right player as well as the ability to invest and commit to, to doing what we had to do to secure a signature. Yeah, when we talked at the Leap of the Park uh, the other day, uh, you mentioned that uh, it was looking for something, going doing something. You know, we never thought, I, I mean, honestly, I didn't really think that we were going to go and get a, a guy like Aki from a, from a powerhouse like Monterey in Mexico, to be honest with you. Uh, how difficult was for you um, the election of such a big player and also dealing with a, with a, with a team like, like Monterey? Look, I think, um, you know, when we when we started out, you know, we, we're hugely ambitious for Nashville. I think it's, I think one of the things that people have been complimentary about is the way we've gone about our business generally in the last year and a half. And, you know, whether we're dealing with Monterey or anyone else, I think the deals are kind of always the same, you know, whether it's, you know, w between Mike and I, we have a lot of experience across lots of leagues and lots of countries and lots of players. The, the deals are always kind of the same. I think you have to be, respectful of the three parties, the player and his agent, you know, ourselves and then the club you're buying from. And I, I think um, we were very fortunate last night to have dinner with, with Ake and his agents. And, and you know, and it, was a, it was a great sort of get together. And I think it spoke volumes of the, of the way we go about our business. We've said at this, this soccer club that we want to be respectful and be respected. And, and sometimes that's difficult when you're in the heat of a negotiation. But if you if you do it in the right way. And it's, a, you know, Monterey is a, a very established and well-known club. And and I think um, the people at Monterey, the agents, Akebs, everybody felt good, including ourselves, about the process. And I think as long as we operate in that way as we go forward, you know, we've had to be tough in this process at times. And it's a, it's a bit of a game as always, but we feel very, very pleased with the outcome. Primero, creo que la MLS es un campeonato que está bien, que casi todos los jugadores internacionales eh, vienen a jugar aquí, perdón. Y creo que es un, una liga intenso que, que exige mucho, mucho esfuerzo. Y de verdad, si el partido contra Columbus fue, fue, fue un buen partido para mí y para el equipo, porque jugamos afuera y sacamos un punto pero vi el equipo muy bien y así que pensé que entendí que este campeonato es un campeonato de verdad que, que me puede aportar mucho. Yeah, I think uh, for me, in some ways, it's it's similar to the journey we saw in USL, where we 
we gradually approached it. You know, we, and I said that earlier that, you know, I think it's impossible. It's, it's my first time at an expansion club. So I, I would imagine it's kind of impossible to put all of the pieces of the jigsaw together in one go. And, you know, we were very clear, or our owner, uh, John Ingram, and, and the board were very clear at the start that the, that the support would be there, the investment would be there for the right opportunities. And I think, you know, we did some fantastic work in the last 18 months in building the roster we already have uh, prior to, to this signing. Um, but we've always been conscious that we would keep adding and keep developing and changing some pieces out. And I think this is a big step forward. It's, you know, it's obviously our biggest sign and in, in, in a designated player, but, but I think it, it doesn't stop here. You know, we'll keep assessing the squad, we'll keep assessing the opportunities and we'll keep moving the pieces around the, around the board really. But, um, but I think it says a lot about the ambition of the club. I think if you look at the start we've had, look at the season we had last year, look at the start we've had this year, and adding somebody like Ake at this point in the season, which is fantastic, gives us a chance to make another step forward. And that's not to put any more pressure than is already on everybody every game. But it, but I think it's um, it shows real ambition, and and you know I think he'll fit well into the group and. You know, I think everyone, including our fans, will be excited to see him come out and join this group. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, Ian or Mike, kind of along those same lines, um, <clears throat> I think you guys can go 30 games tonight. The discussion last year and now going into this year, has that sped up the timetable for the investment for adding what you wanted to say, hey, this could be possible sooner than you may have thought? Uh, well, Mike can answer as well. I, I think for me, um, We'll never make a signing on the basis of you know where we are in the in the table today, or we'll make our signings based on really well thought through hard work and opportunity, and 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 this was a combination of both the hard work that Mike and his team put in in continuing to look not just at Ake, at other opportunities, and always saying that when the right opportunity rises up, we'll we'll go to the well and we'll dig deep and we'll you know we'll find what we need to get our man and. That's what happened here, but it happened because of opportunity rather than league position. But our ambition will always be there. It's just about, you know, does the right player or the right opportunities present themselves? And if they do, and as Mike said, you know, I, I, again, both of us have experience of this and sometimes you just don't get what you want. And it's not because you don't try hard enough or put enough money on the table sometimes. It's just the way it is. It, um, but I'm really pleased that this is a great example of keeping at it and keeping, you know, we could have gone in a different direction in the last 18 months or two years. And, and we'd certainly looked at lots of those uh, other opportunities and, and, you know, never felt that anything was quite right. And here we are with getting what we wanted. I mean, look, it's, it's a process. And, you know, for us, it, we're always evaluating the players that we have. Uh, you know, our goal from the, from, the, uh, from the very beginning was to be as competitive as possible in the matches we're playing. And, you know, I, I had a friend today reference the fact that, you know, the win today, you know, joint second in points. And, you know, I obviously appreciate that, but I, mean, I couldn't tell you who was second place last year after 12 games, you know. So, I mean, the reality is, you know, I think we just keep moving along. And as Ian said, I, I think we keep not only evaluating the pieces we have, but keep adding where they're needed, you know. And it's, it's, it's an ongoing process of us evaluating our group. And adding Ake was the right time. And I think for us, it's important to make sure that not just that Ian and I, we have poker faces, but I think that we can remain calm not get too high when we win and not get too low when we lost we lose because it's still very, very early in the season. Thanks. Yeah, well, a two fold question on the first for Rocky and then for, for Mike. Um, Rocky, you, you were at a club that is very competitive, um, is cutthroat, and in Nashville in its own right, uh, in your position is also very competitive. Do you have a chip on your shoulder or an approach to what you want to prove now that you're here? El fútbol es lo que es, ¿no? Aquí no se trata de demostrar lo que somos, pero aportar lo que tenemos al equipo, ¿no? Así que vengo a aportar lo que puedo hacer para, para que crezca el equipo y 
eh, para que crecen mis, mis compañeros también, porque uno no puede hacer todo, así que juntos vamos a hacer muchas cosas bien y lograr muchas cosas. The, the price for the international spot, you know, the market value dictates that. We don't dictate it and Portland doesn't dictate it. You know, the, the reality is with COVID making it harder for teams to flip green cards this summer versus years past, someone like Randall Leal, you know, who has everything set to get a green card, but we just can't get him an appointment, you know, the embassy in Co Costa Rica. We're not the only team, not only in Costa Rica, but with other, uh, other embassies and, and other nations having the same issue. So I talked to other general managers around the league you know, uh, I think the feeling was that the market was dictating an increase in the price for international spots during the summer. You know, uh, for what it's worth, uh, you know, not only was the last international spot before we purchased one also sold at $230,000, uh, I actually had another team try to hold a gun to our head and, and ask for $300,000 for an international spot. You know, so for us, I mean, uh, you know, we also were in a situation where, you know, I told us all the time with our staff about the exercise. You know, I've talked in the past about, you know, Ian's talked about when he signed Firmino at Liverpool, people say he paid too much money. You know, now no one says that. You know, uh, for us, the exercise was get Ake sorted out, whatever way they do. You know, so the fact that we were able to get an international spot, maybe it was a little more than last summer, but right at market value, we felt good about the fact that we didn't get our pants pulled down. You know, but I also feel good about the fact that the exercise was getting them sorted out and having them sitting here. And we wouldn't have got that done if we didn't do the inter international spot. Creo que no conozco a cada jugador, pero cuando estaba aquí, allá sí investí mucho y sé que hay muchos talentos aquí y respeto a cada jugador, pero cuando llegué fue, fue, fue impresionante la, la bienvenida que me dieron, son, son jugadores increíbles y creo que vamos a entendernos muy bien. Thank you.